how I turn this into this. Hi everyone, it's Meg from Meg Christopher Designs. Today I'm showing you how to turn this $15 Facebook Marketplace find into a modern two-tone dresser. So first thing I did already for you is I sanded with the Ryobi sander um, the front of the drawers and then I used painter's tape on the little brass accents that we have here. Um, we're using this Varathane stain on the front of the um, drawers. It's early American color. And then we're using a bare chalk paint. It is the classic noir color. You can use any color chalk paint that you want, but this is the look that I'm going for. Um, and to stain, I'm just using these really cheap sponge brushes and then to chalk paint. I really love these shortcut um, brushes because they're small, they're easy to use, and they can get in the grooves really well. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stain all of the fronts of the drawers because that's going to take a little bit longer to dry than the chalk paint. So let's get started. show you a close-up of how these came out it's super interesting how each drawer like took a different color like this is much lighter than this one but look at how awesome that stain turned out Whoa. so I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I really like this color the best but you can't really stain is stain so you can't really bring this one lighter so I think I'm just gonna leave them for now and see how they look and then Go from there. All right, so now I'm gonna take my chalk paint and I'm going to do the outside frame of the dresser. is not as dark as I had wanted it to be and the guy at Home Depot said it's not gonna be black but then the color was called noir so I was like okay noir is black but it might be growing on me it needs another coat um, one tip is first coat you can kind of slap the paint on second coat you need to be a little bit more careful about how you apply it so that it looks final coat looks nice so See what happens. Another word of advice, don't stain your drawers on top of the dresser because the stain kind of ruined this little part of the dresser, but hey, you'll live and you'll learn, right? You'll learn from my mistakes. Also, if you're not doing this project all at once, you need to take a break. I stick my paintbrushes in a Ziploc baggie so that the brush doesn't dry out. You don't have to keep washing and waiting for it to dry. So that's just a little tip. All right, so I hated <laughs> the color that I picked, um, the first color of chalk paint. So I went to Home Depot and I got this one. It is Deco Art brand, Carbon is the color, and it is black, which I wanted. So um, I painted the whole thing. I got a little ahead of myself, so I'm sorry that I didn't show you, but really all I did was repaint what I painted that noir color from before. I put my handles back on. Here is our finished product. I'm so pumped about how this turned out. I love it. It's looking really cute. It looks like my inspiration pick. So I'm really happy about it. <laughs> 